application. Okay, this program is for uh, building a Bayesian network. Uh, so it's the sixth. Okay, no, it's the seventh program. Uh, to construct a Bayesian network uh, using medical data, uh, they want us to use the standard hard disk data set, and uh, we can use uh, built-in Python ML library classes or APIs. So the data set is available at UCI. So So this is the data set that we are going to be working with and we are going to be using uh, PGMPy which is basically probabilistic uh, graphical model so this is the documentation page for the website so let's start with the program so we are going to use pandas we are also going to use url lib because we need to fetch the data set from the website if you don't want if you don't want to fetch the uh, data set from the website you can just use uh, you know data equals pd dot uh, read csv of your file name yeah but uh, we are going to get it get from the url uh, I'll probably add in a few lines at the end to show you how to do it from the CSV file if there is no internet connectivity. Okay, so yeah, let's import URL lib. URL open. Okay, so now we need to import. So we need to import Bayesian network. Bayesian model, sorry. Yep. Okay. It's models. Okay. So for me, uh, it, this works just fine, but if you are using it on your uh, Jupyter uh, instance and if you haven't installed uh, uh, pgmpy you can do it by uh, doing uh, pip install pgmpy uh, make sure to add a bang in front of this command so it will not run it in the jupyter environment but as a command externally so for me it says that requirement already satisfied but in your case if you haven't had uh, pgmpy installed and if it throws an error uh, it will probably install it for you so right so now that we have done we need to create the header files for I mean the title for our uh, data frame so let it's going to be a list uh, so one second let's just take a quick moment to read like what the data set is about it's a hard disease data set so there are uh, 14 attributes and uh, 14th attribute is the predicted attribute so there are like 13 other dependent attributes which are going to predict the 14th attribute and uh, the data set lies here we are using the process the cleveland data so this is the data so these are the attributes so this is the age this is the sex and this is the output data so we have uh, this entire data set that we need to use so what i'm going to do here is i i need uh, the 14 variable name so you can have uh, anything so names equal to a list of you know a a comma b comma so on uh, let me just do it this way so i just make it a string first a comma b comma c sorry okay k is 13 and then we have the result so i'm just going to split it Okay, let's see how names is so now names is uh, we basically need it this way if you wanted to type initially in this in this manner if you want to declare it as a list that's fine but i felt this is easier for me to type uh, okay so it's just e comma f i don't need yeah so it's fine so we have uh, let me just make sure how many variables we have so then it's 12 we need 14 a b c d e f g h i j k n 
result okay yeah. so now we have enough variables now that we have enough variables <coughs> we want to create our uh, data frame so the data frame is uh, going to be uh, data equals pd dot read csv of our uh, url i mean before that i need to and uh, the names that is the header of the going to be names let's see if that works okay so now you see that uh, these are the attribute names and uh, these are the data that uh, the data frame has the reason why we are adding this is because if we don't add this the first row will become the title of the data frame so you'll get something like this so this becomes a title so to avoid that and to make it easier for us to work with we are going to add the names and names equal to names is basically names is the variable of this guy right here so that's what we are doing right so now we have our uh, data ready it's time to build the model so model equals Bayesian model of so this basically takes a list of tuples uh, and I'll just build a random network you can do it however you want uh, just make sure they're properly constructed so I'll make a connection between A and B and then from B and C and then from C and result okay so model dot fit data okay now that we have uh, that out of the way so I forgot to import uh, one thing So this is to send the query into our uh, constructed uh, Bayesian network and uh, get the inference. So Q equals uh, Q equals uh, infer sorry infer dot query so now we are going to query uh, what we want so we want to find out the ultimate result variable equals variables equals result and <coughs> So the input we are going to provide is uh, the age. The, like I said, the first one, the first, uh, the first attribute is the age. Uh, so I'm going to give the age here. So that should do. Let's see if that works properly. Okay. So I'll just print Q of result. And uh, this is the output of the program. So we built a base network. So depending on how you construct the network, this output will vary. This is just a very small random network. Uh, so one more thing that I wanted to specify here is instead of so I just put uh, random values because it's kind of difficult to remember the exact values. So if you want to use the exact values, you could do something like this. So age, sex, CP. So all of these are like tag words for something like COL stands for cholesterol, fasting, blood sugar. So these are the various uh, attributes, but they are present in uh, the documentation of the UCA machine learning uh, website. So here they describe what are the attributes that the 14 attributes, what are they and what's the predicted attribute and what are the dependent attributes. So you don't necessarily need to have the same names like this. Uh, like I showed you here, you could also have uh, a, B, C, D or any random names like here we've used A, B, C, D through M and the result being the final name. Uh, so quick recap of what we did here. 
so if you don't have uh, pgmpy installed uh, use this command to have pgmpy installed import pandas import uh, url lib dot request url open import the bayesian model from pgmpy models and uh, import uh, so these are actually i didn't use them so these are pretty redundant actually but uh, these are for uh, you could add uh, the estimator in your model building uh, for example here model of fit data estimate So maximum likelihood is just a way of like probability calculation. So that is optional. So this line is pretty optional if you want or not. So you have you create the headers for your uh, data frame so that you know which column um, stands for which data. So you create that here. So this is one way to do it. And you create your data frame. <coughs> here I'm using the URL open to open this data set. Uh, another way to do it would be uh, just give the file name if you have this file locally just give the file name here and that should work as well and here we pass the headers this is the data frame that has been created and <coughs> so the model you construct the network here so you make connections like this this is how you define your uh, network and then you fit the model with the data so this is like i said is optional you don't need this yeah so you do this and uh, so this is the last part when you make a query pgmpy inference variable elimination and uh, q equal to infer dot query and what is the variable that you want to infer and what is the evidence that you're providing uh, so that's it